Right, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Now, I want to talk about the Atari VCS and the Intellivision Amigo, you know. But first of all, um, Caverns of Mars Recharge is awesome on the Atari VCS, you know. Brilliant. And I uh, would totally recommend getting the game. It's on everything. Switch, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Atari VCS. It's a brilliant game, you know. And it's brilliant, you know. And... Uh, there's going, to, there's going to be 11 more new games coming out from Atari this year. I'm hoping one of them new games is going to be Night River Recharged. Uh, but according to Wade Rosen, all the major main Atari games will be getting the recharged version. and Because most of these games are 240 or 50 years old themselves. Um, he wants to continue celebrating the, the Atari 50th anniversary. So I think that's awesome, you know. Plus, there's going to be loads more games coming from indie devs and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, brilliantly. You know, and uh, like 2023 is going to be a great year for the Atari VCS. Um, Wade Rose says that the Atari VCS will be getting upgrades itself. Um, so, what what would those upgrades be? I don't know. But what, what me personally, what I'd like to see happen is the Atari VCS controller and the Atari VCS joystick. I'd like to be able to use those wordlessly on everything on the Atari VCS. Um, like with Xbox Cloud Gaming, NVIDIA GeForce Now. Now, I know about Xbox mode, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work for me. And I can't use my Atari VCS by the controller wordlessly or the joystick wordlessly on Xbox Cloud Gaming or uh, or any cloud streaming thing. You know? So that's one upgrade I'd like to see happen. Um Another thing I'd like to see happen is uh, now I know Atari and My Arcade are bringing out these new systems. You know, now the Game Station Plus that comes with two joysticks. I hope Atari makes it so that these joysticks will work on the Atari VCS also. Uh, I hope so. Uh, all I do know is that the two point four gigahertz wireless uh, wireless joysticks. So I don't know if that will work on, on the Atari VCS or not. Uh, but it'd be sweet if Atari could make a so, because uh, these joysticks look awesome for what I've seen of them. Uh, so yeah, so um, yeah, so like there's the the, the more arcade stuff coming out si out as well. The the pocket station, the the mini arcade machine, and the game station plus. Now the game station plus is the main thing I'm interested in. Uh, I could plug it into my television. Have 300, 300 or so, they're saying Atari 2600 games, and I believe 7800 as well. So, it's all about supporting Atari. Like, I'm wearing my, um, my green Atari short, getting ready for St. Patrick's Day on Friday. We'll be wearing this, you know, and um, that's what it's all about supporting Atari. Um, we'll always do that, um, um, no matter what. Uh, uh, so, we we'll, we'll, we'll stick through we'll stick with them through thick and thin, so yeah um awesome uh now adventure you know the game adventure um I well, said that be made that be made into into a recharge game because oh no that's definitely torn forty or fifty you know Night Driver came out in nineteen seventy six so I think that's torn of forty I think it is so that should be a hope um a recharge game. Because they brought out the arcade version of Night Driver on Antstream Arcade but last year or something. And it's awesome. The arcade version that came out in 1976. But since then, I've been asking Atari constantly, please bring out Night Driver Recharge. I mean, uh, it's the only... Atari haven't brought out a driving game of their own yet on the Atari VCS. So I think Night Driver would be a perfect start, you know. Then they could do... um Well... Well, they have Fighter Run on there for for the Atari seventy eight hundred, you know. Um. So yeah, you know. But, um. But the the awesome thing about the Atari VCS is we can play, um, NES games and whatever I want to true Crown. And this morning I was playing a game called Super Off Road. Uh, some some driver in America, I can't remember his name, but an NES game on my Atari VCS and it was awesome. Super Off Road, brilliant, you know. Um. Then I was playing um, uh, the Ultimate Doom, the PC version on DOSBox, True Crown on my Atari VCS, and it was awesome. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of what's going to come out for the Atari VCS. And like I said, 2023 is going to be an awesome year, and 2024 is going to be an awesome year. So, like I said, don't listen to the people that are saying that it's finished. It's not. 
and Atari is 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 going to get better as time goes on. You know, so will the VCS. You know, now on to the Intellivision Amigo, right? Now this is what I'm hearing at the moment. We right? Tommy Tallarico is back on the, on the scene with Intellivision. Now, um, what I'm hearing is he's going to a backgammon uh, tournament on a yacht, and um, why is he doing that? Well. He says he's going to get money to put back into the Amico. I don't believe that, but if he is, fair play to him. But what is he doing? He should be working on the Intellivision Amico, not not going to backgammon tournaments. But, you know, it's a free country. If he wants to do a, a back backgammon tournament, fair enough. If, if, if he's using his own money, which I don't think he is, because um, in my opinion... He scammed people out of their money, not just him, but the whole lot of them did. Uh, now, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, I hope the people get get their console, get get their refunds back. But those two things aren't happening, and I don't, I don't know, like, you know. Um, so, but like I said, th- they're just my opinions, like, you know. Um, why is he... He's meant to be the uh, creative director or something of in television. Phil Phil Adam is the CEO, so you know this doesn't help Phil Phil Adam's job any easier. But he keeps kicking the can down the road, if you understand, and afford a release date because of this problem, that problem, and the other problem. So I don't know, like you know, and I'm hearing also that um, intelligent amigo is in the bank they're broke, which means they got no money. So that's the reason why people can't get a refund. That's why the console isn't getting built because there's no money to build it. So, uh, so where is all the money that people put into this thing? You know, the, the investors, the people that PR did it. You know, why don't they have a console? And what's going on? You know, what I'm saying that why is Phil, Phil Adam making excuse after excuse? Why is Tommy Tallarico going to a backgammon tournament, you know? All this is shady to me, you know? And we don't think the people are ever going to get the Amico. Um, it's amazing to me how these people are still on the loose. They haven't, they haven't been arrested. They haven't been charged with fraud because that's what it is, in my opinion, you know? Um, uh, you know, um, and according to the, the people, they're broke. In the bank, they're broke. So they got no money. But they took people's money because in television did far things of crowdfunding. Where where did all that money go? Well, it's fairly obvious to me where it went to. But I don't know for sure. I'm just giving my opinion. It went into the back pocket of Tommy Tallarico, Phil Adam, John Alvarado, all the people that orchestrated this scam. I mean, until, until the console comes out or until we see a release day, I'm just saying, that's just my opinion. Now, I hope they got them wrong. Like, I hope the people that act that actually PR to just get it. I hope people get refunds and this and that. But I don't see how that's going to happen when in television don't have any money in the bank. Look, this is what people are telling me, that they're broke in the bank. Tommy Tyler Rico is going, going to a backgammon tournament on his fancy yacht. And it, it costs something like 300 just to get 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 into this thing and the prize money if he wins the back gamma tournament is ten thousand dollars or ten thousand pounds what's ten thousand pounds going to do if he wins it it's for himself obviously you know um he could buy well who knows if he wins the money he might actually pay people back their refunds which would be fucking great i mean if he does that grand you know but i don't i don't think he's going to do that you know and um I don't know, um, but this Intellivision Amico thing will keep going because these people are still getting money. You know, that's where they're, they're keeping up with it. That's where they keep. That's where Phil Adam keeps giving excuses. He keeps giving a new release date for this thing because he's still getting money, and he's not gonna to, go, to say no to that. You know, what I mean, it, it is uh, um, Tommy Tallarico. It's only been honest enough front say look. There's no cars are coming. We saw we took your money. Here's your money back. But they're not going to do that. So we see what happens next week. Right? But that's what's happening at the moment with Intellivision and the Amico. Um, Tommy, Tommy Tallarico is going to a backgammon tournament on a fancy yacht. Uh, why is he doing that? He should be focused on getting the cars out built and out to people. Or f- refunds. But And they're saying that 
intelligent amigo is broke at the bank, don't, don't have any money. So, I don't know, I feel, I feel bad for the people that are going to get a cancel and the money was scammed out of them. But that's just my opinion. I'm just, we could, we could be completely wrong about the whole situation. That's just my opinion of what we see happening here. Now, this intelligent amigo thing has been going on, what, five, six years now, you know? So, I just want to make a quick video about that. Um, uh, I hope people uh, get the Amico. I hope people get a refund. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, and we believe these people belong in, in prison. Uh, the people that orchestrate just made this thing up just to get people's money. But I, I could be completely wrong. And if it turns out I'm wrong, I'll, I'll apologise and stuff. But I don't know. And uh, Tommy Telly Rico... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. You should be going to a, a backgammon tournament. You should be focusing on getting the Amico built and out the people. Uh, but we'll see what happens next, right? So, we we'll just want to make a quick video about that, right? Uh, so, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, uh, the entire VCS is awesome. It has an awesome future. Um, uh, that's the difference between Atari and a television. Atari... Uh, honest people and uh, they're putting all the hard work into the into the, into the Atari VCS to make it a better system, games, stuff like that. Whereas in television, it's just making excuse after excuse after excuse as to why this thing the Demico isn't built and why people aren't getting a refund. Right? Um, the the broke at the bank. That's what I'm hearing. And and uh, Tommy Tyler Rico is going to a backgammon tournament on some fancy app. So that's dishonest, it's wrong, and that's the difference between in television and Atari. You know, they're my opinions, right? So uh, I hope everyone has a good day out there, and um, all the best and bye-bye.